Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crablord back again with another video. And I know this video is late and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. I suck. If you look recently, I just got a bed, right? I got a mattress and then I hung this Frank Sinatra picture up. So that took up all of my time. Just kidding. Today we're gonna be doing the well-requested how to sound like Lil TJ in the song, Hold On. What I realized while doing this is that his voice is like a higher pitched vocal and mine is pretty deep. So it was kind of hard, I kind of hurt myself doing it, but I tried my hardest and I made it kind of work. Anyway, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and already subscribe the notification bell as well. So you never miss a video that I post. Also make sure to check out my description down below. A lot of sweet things down there like preset packs, all my equipment, all my music, my social media, and a distro kid link to get 5% off your sign up. So your music can be literally streamed everywhere. And also regarding music, that I'm used to make, I didn't quit. Okay, I actually have a lot of songs I want to release, but I'm nervous because I don't want it to be under the name Crab Lord anymore. I want to keep that name for YouTube and like producing stuff and whatever. My biggest fear is that you guys will hate the fact that I changed my name for music, but in the end, I think it'll work out. Yeah, so anyway, little TJ, hold on. Let's get in the video. All right, now that we're here, like, let's show you the preview vocal real quick. I think it's time to shine. I've been waiting so long. Broke to serving time, we've been gone for so long And I promise I'ma do this shit for us Just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on I just lip synced that, I'm a fucking liar, okay? Because I recorded it in a different room that you'll see for the freestyle But I forgot to record it, okay? So I don't want to lie to you guys, but I want to trick you guys before And then reveal the truth after but if you enjoyed that or thought it sucked, um, this is how I got it. What I heard from his vocal was like a thin, higher pitch type of deal. I can't get my voice like that, so you hear I'm kind of like hoarse with my voice. Kind of rough. It's still a good vocal effect and it sounds really good. And the link for the instrumental will be in the description down below. Show the producer some love for creating this beautiful remake. So my friends, let's start on the dry track that I'm talking on. We're gonna pull up below the lead. As you can see, there's a lead and a punch. The punch is just the same thing with the knob turn. Just leaving it simple for you guys. But anyway, we're gonna start with pitch correction because if you wanna make music, it's a good choice to use it. To find that, you go to pitch, pitch correction, mono. I've done this so many times and I'm annoyed of explaining it. The scale and root aren't gonna be the same as mine. Unless you're doing the same key as me, just know that 20 response times is a good setting for vocals that don't want too much auto-tune, but you still want a little slight, little pinch of it, a little sprinkle of it. And then we got a natural minor scale A. But what I recommend to you to find the key of your song and how you want to sing, click the scale part and mainly stay between natural minor scale and major scale and then go through each root one by one by one until it sounds good to you and then leave it at that and then you found your pitch correction close it all right next we're starting with the channel eq these are my settings for the eq it might be a little different because my voice my voice is deep and has a lot of mid and low in it so i always have to raise the high a lot and cut the low what we got here is this as you can see there's a plus two gain on it let's remove that to zero so before i talk about it what you can do is just copy all these settings down below by double clicking and just adding all the values and you'll get the same slope as me but if you don't want to hear that this is what i did simply grab the red bring it to 150 and you grab the orange my mouth is dry. Then you grab the orange and bring it to 200, and you want to drop a negative 3 dB. Then we grab the yellow and did nothing. And then the lime green, you want to take it to 500, click the dot, drag it as skinny as it can go, and make it negative 24. I gotta go get water, man. We're removing all of this part right here. This could be very wrong, but it feels very right. Next, we did kind of the same thing with the other green one. We brought it to 1500, made it as thin as possible, and make it negative 24. Same deal, just cutting out these two little areas. Then because I want it to be like crispier and higher, we took the purple, to 3000 hertz and raise it 5 db with a one width and to get the one width by clicking the dot dragging it but at a 1.10 1.10 and finally grab this magenta colored one i think that's the right color bring it to 14,000. click it make it as thin as possible so it just hugs the outside as you can see there's no curve it hugs it and then have it at 14,000 48 db i don't even know what these rolls are mm, raise it too and there's your eq next we have two compressors in a row so let's bring the first one over first Okay, this one, dynamics, compressor, mono. When you're inside of it, you wanna make sure of a few things. You click Studio FET, for whatever reason. Auto gain's always off. And then my goal here was to get the needle to smash between negative five and zero. So we have a ratio of 3.1 to one. Threshold of negative 10, makeup of two, because it took away five, I don't wanna bring it all back. Attack is 50, not too slow, not too fast. And then release it 200, no distortion, close it. Next, we're bringing over a compressor, another one. Like I said before, dynamics, compressor, mono. When you're inside of it, make sure to click Vintage Opto, and then auto gain off again. This time the ratio is at 2.6 to 1. The threshold's at negative 10. My makeup's at 1.5. You can't see it now. It only flares up every once in a while, but it'll hit the 2.5 mark here. Knees at 0. Attacks at 15. Releases at 210. No distortion. Makes it 100%. Close it. That water tastes like a balloon. Multipressor, bring it over. Dynamics, multipressor, mono. I wanted to clean up the vocal a little bit more with this. What you wanna do first is space out the vertical lines. Pinpoint each frequency you wanna change. See, it says 160 right here. Drag it, 
it changes 160 this one's 1200 this one's 7500 and the four is created from that so basically just take the one make it a negative 10 the two zero the three is 0 0.5 and the four is 2.5 and if you watch down here sometimes when you talk really loud it peaks into the red when i was recording it did that so i changed the output to negative 1.6 because i wanted to stay balanced in the blue and not peak and sound bad and i'll cap it off with some reverb we're not using a bus this time bring over silver verb reverb silver verb mono stereo so what i did is i just opened it up and i clicked room click the top go to room and then inside a room we got 15 millisecond pre-delay reflectivity is a 20 percent size 100 density time 100 percent the low cuts a thousand the high cuts 10,000. The rate 0.98. Most importantly, the dry is at 70, the wet's at 12. The wet is how much of the effect is in there. The dry is how much of your actual voice is in there. So 70% here, if you raise it up, you can hear me more. But I wanted to be kind of in the background. So I'm at 70. Wet 12. Because it gets really intense if you turn it up a lot. Whatever, 12. Firmly grasp it. Also, real quick, if you want to have that punch vocal that I added, Command D, duplicate it. Bring this to about 35. Uh-oh. Real quickly, click silver verb. Oh no. Raise it to like 20. And that's it. Watch that really quickly back and you'll learn. Now that you saw how to did it, now we're just gonna freestyle and have a good time with it. I was in my little booth studio recording these and I used my phone to record myself. It's very low light, maybe hard to see me. This is just a test, okay? It's gonna get better over time, but this is just a test. So, you wanna see some freestyles? Here they are. I be going home and I took a big shit. Bitches don't even know why I'm saying this now. I don't even know why I'm like this, whoa, 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 whoa. <coughs> I'll just be smoking some crack. Well, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video as well as learned something as well. And if you didn't, lay thumbtacks on the ground and have me step on it. Make sure to drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think and what I should do next. Um, for a very long time, I've been afraid to read comments. I guess I'm afraid to see something bad, but then it's always good. So I'm looking at them more now. It's just a stupid thing with me, but I'm still here. Like I said before, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, notification bell as well. My description's chock full of sweet things that'll help you and me at the same time. Don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a crowd but How does it sound like Lil TJ in the song Hold On? In Logic Pro 10, using only stock plugins. And like always, we out.